Hey everyone, welcome to JS Cafe. And in today's video, we are going to solve problems related to the, this keyword in JavaScript. So do watch the video till end. I'll be solving frequently asked interview questions. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so um, before diving into the questions, I have prepared some notes for you um so i'll go to the notes once so the first one says that the this keyword refers to an object and the value of the this depends upon how the function is invoked right so this was a slight uh, small intro of the this keyword and i'm already assuming uh, you know what is uh, this keyword and just you're not familiar how the value gets updated uh whether it's a normal function or in an arrow function so uh, I have described the behavior uh, of the this keyword in a uh, function keyword. Okay, so the behavior of this keyword in function. So in that this refers to the window object. Okay, if we directly uh, define a function and we call it then that this keyword inside that particular function would uh, point to the global object and we will also see the example and behavior of this in an object so if you are uh, using the this keyword inside an object then this the value of this would point to that particular object okay so that was one behavior and the next is next comes the arrow functions okay so in arrow functions uh what is that we they don't have a defined uh value of this okay being uh if you consider the case of uh, functions right function keyword they have uh, defined their own this but when it comes to arrow functions, they don't have a defined this keyword. Instead, arrow functions um, thinks of this as a variable and they try to get the value of this lexically. Okay, so lex by lexically means that they inherit it from the parent. Okay, so this was uh, the overall, you know, uh, gist of the what we'll be covering and if you haven't understood any of the points don't worry i'll be going through each examples one by one and i'll help help you with every point okay so this is the very first example and let's uncomment this okay so what we have is we have a we have defined a object person and in one key we have a value vedant as a name and and get name is a function we are using function keyword to define a function okay and in when the what the function is returning function is returning a string with a, this keyword trying to access the name okay now if i try to run this this would say vedant is my name so as stated earlier behavior of this in an object so this refers to an object right so person is an object and we have defined a function inside an object so that this keyword inside that particular function will now point to uh, this object okay this whole object the person object so in the person object we have defined a name a name uh, key so this dot name will e be equal to vedant okay that was one part now let's comment this out and go to next example uh if you are still unclear just bear with me i'll cover each and every point and i as uh, assure that by the end of this video you'll be uh that you'll be able to solve these output based questions of this uh, in any front end interview okay so what we have is we have uh defined a function test using the function keyword and it is in the global scope and we are calling the this this function so it is console.log uh, this okay so let's uh, check this again behavior of this in a function this refers to the window object let's see if it is true i'll do a node in this.js and we have a pretty big log and see this time it printed out global so this refers to the global i.e the window object okay so this uh whenever you call a function that is written via the function keyword then do remember that that this will be pointing to the global object okay so this was another example now here comes the um example which would 
clarify your doubts okay so this is similar to the example which we just saw above uh, we have defined where we had defined a person and a get name with function keyword okay this time we have get name as a function but we have instead of using function keyword we have defined it using the arrow keyword okay so by arrow keyword let us see what the changes happen in the output of this particular program so let's run this note this dot js and this time i got undefined now let us have a close look at this particular code snippet and before uh, observing the code let me uh, re read this line for you arrow functions arrow functions don't have a defined this instead they they treat it as a variable and they try to get the value lexically which means that they inherit from the parent scope so in the previous example via the function keyword this function keyword had a defined value of this and this uh, the value of this was uh, pointing to the environment where this function was being uh, called okay so this function was called inside this particular object so this would be pointing to the this uh, to this person object okay because it has a defined this so it has it is uh, it has uh, this point this is pointing to this particular object but since arrow functions don't have a defined this okay they don't have a defined value of this instead they think of it as as a variable and now whenever it tries to uh, get the value of this dot name so what is happening is that this keyword right so it is trying to inherit uh, from its parent okay so this object is the parent of this particular you know function okay because uh, they are contained in this person object so pa person object becomes their parent now this parent has a defined this which is pointing to the global object okay because this person object is defined in the global context okay so this is our global context right so person object has a global context so automatically whenever get name tries to uh, do a this dot name it is trying to actually search in the global scope not in the scope of this particular function uh, person object okay so that was one difference and this is a reason we got undefined let me repeat that again because get name was defined using arrow function and arrow functions don't have a defined this instead they treat it like a variable and they inherit the value of the this lexically so in this case the parent is this particular object and this particular object is defined in a global scope so in a global scope we don't have a name okay this dot name doesn't exist in global scope so ideally this is giving us a undefined right so this was the reason behind getting undefined in this particular code snippet now we have a improved example which is going to clear your concepts very much okay so i'll going to show you how uh, we can basically um, you know uh, inherit uh, the this keyword from parent and we can get the output so in this particular code okay so this is a very long code and it has some issue okay this particular code has some issue so i'll read it out for you we have a function user which has a name property a score and i'm doing uh, this dot say user is basically a function defined using the function keyword so in this function keyword i am logging out this dot name okay and in this function we have another function which uh, with the name as inner function again defined with the function keyword and it is logging out name again okay and i am calling this inner function in this particular say user function call now we created object using the new keyword okay and uh, now i am doing name dot say user now take some time guess the output of this particular code snippet pause the video and once you are clarified uh, well, like once you are uh, having an answer then do resume to check out your you know answers now i'll run this code snippet for you once and i hope you got the correct answer okay so this printed out john doe and we got the undefined okay 
so let me uh, tell you why this is happening so as said earlier recall our um, uh, example number one so in this we have a function keyword uh, which is say user and uh, we have declared the function using function keyword and this say user ke under we are trying to access this dot name now again function keyword define their own this and uh, this uh, refers to the scope where this function is getting invoked so this ob uh, this particular object ke under we have defined name so the say user will have access to name property so this this will be pointing to this particular object and uh, function body uh, i'll say uh, it is better to call it function body so this keyword will be pointing to this function body whole so this dot name is accessible now we are calling uh, we are declaring a inner function of using the function keyword and we are calling it over here remember i told you in this point that behavior of this inner function this refers to the window object right recall this example we declared a function using the function keyword and we call it so uh, if you call the function you know ideally just like that without anything so this would be pointing to the function uh win to the window object okay so here also this uh, this keyword was pointing to the window object and in the window object we didn't had the value of name right we didn't define name that is why this was giving us undefined so the interviewer might ask you how to fix this okay so the solution which you have to come up with is arrow functions you you got it right arrow functions so i'll go to the next code snippet for you check this one everything is same as before in this example uh, we have defined the inner function using the fun uh, the arrow keyword okay so arrow functions humne use kara yahan pe and now guess the output remember now let's get back to the notes okay notes pe jate hain i told you arrow functions don't have a defined is fine instead they treat it as a variable and they try to get the value from the parent lexically now let's uh, check this key is inner fun what is the parent of this particular inner function okay the pair so inner function is defined inside this say user function so say user function becomes the parent of inner function pair point so whatever say user is uh, whatever the this of say user is pointing to inner function will automatically inherit it and will point to the same so ideally this say user was pointing to uh, the this of the say user was pointing to the function body of the user function so inner function inherits the same okay so again when you inherit it the say user was able to access name so do inner function will have access to name as well now because it has inherited it from say user function so now if i run it this time i got john do john do because we used arrow function and i explained you why arrow functions were able to access this uh, variable although uh, the parent didn't had declaration the parent did had a declaration of this dot name but ideally say user had access to reference uh, to this particular uh, this dot name so this dot name got inherited to back to this uh, in her uh, inner function and it was able to log out john do right so now i think this is everything right this is pretty much everything uh the concept uh, for the this keyword okay the interviewer might uh, like uh, twist the questions by adding more uh, functions or variables but you need to stick to the particular uh, concepts right so this was all uh, for this particular uh, tricky questions right uh, like this uh, like usually i was uh, getting confused uh, why how this this works like why is it sometimes it is picking up the value sometimes it is not picking up the values and the behavior is very strange but once you get understanding how things actually work behind the scenes then you can crack any questions any output based questions you don't have to memorize each and every question just stick to the concepts right just stick to the concept concepts and you will crack uh, every interview so yeah that was all in this video uh, take care uh, goodbye and see you in the next one